Hello, my name is Selma Thubeti and I am a master candidate in Dr. Arun Ayer's lab in the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences. The topic of my presentation is synthesis and characterization of targeted nanotherapy for maximizing immune response in pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. Pancreatic cancer is one of the 10 leading cancer types among both sexes in the United States during 2021 and it accounts for 3% of all estimated new cancer cases and about 8% of all cancer deaths. According to the American Cancer Society, around 60,000 people will be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and 48 people will die during 2021. Pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma is a type of exocrine pancreatic cancer, and it develops from cell lining small tubes in the pancreas called ducts. More than 90% of all pancreatic malignants are BDAC, as it considers the most prevalent neoplastic disease, comparing to neuroadenocrine tumors Asinar and colloid carcinomas. Moreover, it's one of the most aggressive solid tumor with a poor prognosis due to some factors, such as lack of early diagnostic markers, delayed detection, diverse genetics and rapid metastasis, low response to conventional radiotherapy and chemotherapy. The extensive immune suppression in BDAC comes from coordinate action of the regulatory T cells, myeloid drift suppressed cells, and macrophages, which block cytotoxic T cells in tumor recognition and clearance. Also, due to low immune cell infiltration, BDAC are non responsive to immune therapy. Therefore, we are developing CD40 agonist encapsulated nanoparticles to activate dendritic cells and stimulate cytotoxic CD8 positive T cells for killing BDAC tumor cells. Our objective is to develop pH-sensitive CD40 antibody agonist loaded nanoparticles that can target the tumor tissues and release preloaded CD40A within the BDAC tumor microenvironment. Activate the antigen-presenting cells, especially the dendritic cells, thereby stimulating cytotoxic CD8-positive T cells for targeting killing of the BDAC tumor cells. This nanoparticle approach will help overcome the toxicity associated with the CD40A2 non-target organ and tissue and facilitate selective tumor delivery therapy producing durable cancer therapy response in BDAC. Liposomes were prepared by thin lipid film hydration method followed by extrusion. The lipid mixture of 21 phosphatidylserine, cholesterol and DSPD with a molar ratio equal to 1, 0 0.1, 0 0.08 millimolar, dissolved in chloroform and then nitrogen gas was used to evaporate the organic phase and create the lipid thin film. The thin film was hydrated with 0.2 mg per ml of CD40A, dissolved in 2 ml of PPS. Leave it overnight in 4 degrees Celsius to enhance the encapsulation efficiency. On the second day, liposomes were extruded through 150 nanometer polycarbonate membrane to create small unilaminar nanoparticles followed by purification by using 200 kilodaltons molecular weight cutoff centrifuge tube to separate the free CD40A from the core encapsulated CD40A. 
The mean drug loading equal to 13.49% weight to weight ratio. Dynamic light scattering data for CD40A nanoparticles show homogeneous size distribution with an average diameter of 154 nanometer and bullet dispersity index equal to 0.180, which indicates narrow size range. Transmission electron microscopy image indicates spherical particles with a size range from 80 to 100 nanometer. So this nanocarrier is suitable for tumor targeting by using enhanced retention and permeability effect. Atomic force microscopy shows particle size less than 200 nanometer. DLS data demonstrates the changing of zeta potential from minus 14.7 to 37.17 millivoltage between physiological pH and tumor pH. After determining the physicochemical characterization, nanoparticles were loaded with PC dye to demonstrate whether or not these particles can adhere on the cell surface of dendritic cells in acidic pH. As we can see, targeting liposomes are able to adhere on the cell surface, while non-targeting liposomes are getting uptake inside the cells. And from this confical data, we can confirm that targeting liposomes are able to release the CD40A extracellular and facilitate the access of CD40A to CD40 transmembrane receptor. Our approach of extracellular matrix pH responsive nanoparticles can open a new avenue for selectively activating tumor killing immune cells with a minimum side effect. Our nanoparticle platform can also be used for delivery of other toxic antibodies selectively to the tumor microenvironment.